You're a coach or a parent interested in mental toughness training for your athletes, right? Well, first off, let's define mental toughness so we know what we're talking about here. So I define it as focused, confident, determined, and resilient, especially under pressure. Now, you also know that if your athletes were to play with more of that, then they'd be bringing their A-game to competition, just like you get to see in practice quite often and regularly, right? Now, if you've coached athletes for any significant amount of time, you know that performance anxiety and fear of failure, they're the biggest obstacles to playing their best. So what do you do about it as a coach? Well, for starters, if you're interested in coaching mental toughness, what you don't do is punish players for momentarily lapses by pulling them out of the game. And I know that some coaches will respond to that by saying something like, well, I want them to think long and hard about that mistake. As if the athlete doesn't know he or she screwed up and thinking long and hard about it is gonna fix the problem. All you're doing is increasing the anxiety and hurting the athlete's ability to perform the next time. You see, you're training the athlete into a fear mentality instead of a confident one. One of my favorite quotes of all time, quote, for every complex problem, there is an answer that is clear, simple, and wrong. That's by H.L. Mencken. Yes, coaches, I know that you've got a game to win and a player that's just not performing well needs to come out and someone else giving a shot. I get that. What I'm saying here, is to wait until after the obvious mistake has passed a little while so that the athlete doesn't associate being pulled with the mistake. That's destructive and counterproductive for you as a coach if you wanna build confident players. What you wanna do is give the athlete the opportunity to build resilience from the mistake, to learn that they can always come back after a choke. That's where confidence comes from. This is how mental toughness is built for the vast majority of athletic minds. When you pull the athlete right after the mistake, you're instilling a huge fear of making that mistake again. It's common sense. This punishing mentality that too many coaches are using these days, it actually sabotages the whole team and not just the player who made the mistake. Everybody on the team knows what happened and they get the same fear beliefs installed now, I've been preaching this to coaches for a decade now. Stop throwing away your talent. The problem with the whole sports world is that for every athlete, there's two more on the bench or at the lower levels wanting to step up and replace those that fall from the coach's grace. Too many, too many coaches treat athletes as expendable. The time to teach mental toughness is right after an athlete makes a mistake or chokes under pressure. Yeah, that's right. But what you do as a coach or a parent with that athlete is the key to whether it hurts or helps him or her. Now, for the sake of the other side of the argument, I'll admit that sometimes some athletes will rise to the challenge of coming back from being pulled from the game. That is true. Now, if you really are a super aware enough about the psyche of your athlete to know for certain that that tactic is going to work, then I say go ahead and do it. I'm here to tell you that it doesn't work for most athletes. And if you do it regularly, you're only hurting yourself. And you're wasting a grand opportunity to create a mentally tough athlete who will pay you back for believing in him or her. Listen, I get it that coaches want wins and great performances. You notice I didn't really appeal to your sense of wanting to build life skills in your athletes through sports, which is what I'm about. I'm here to tell you that this is in your best interest as a coach, even if you're a hardcore coach or parent who cares only about winning. It's up to you to study sports psychology for coaches and stop thinking that just because you had a winning season somewhere in the past that your tactics work for every group of athletes you'll ever get. Famous coach John Wooden said, a coach is someone who can give correction without causing resentment. I implore you to keep your mind open. Flex with different tools for different athletic personalities. Always ask yourself, what's the best way to build this player's confidence right now? Because it's going to come right back to you. 
You know that a player that has a lot of confidence will outplay one without it, right? You know this. And you have the ability to inspire that. Use it. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal.